Hello, everyone. Welcome to the session on how to leverage slow logs and ES Rally for creating workload specific benchmark tests. I am Ilango, CTO of Squareshift. We are excited to be part of Elasticon and share our experiences with the broader community. We are a consulting firm with expertise in digital, data, cloud, and cybersecurity. We are an Elastic partner providing consulting and implementation services from startups to Fortune 500 companies. We have a packed agenda today. We will start with the use case and how workload specific benchmarks played a key role in the final solution. We will spend two minutes talking about the tools that exist today in the Elastic Benchmark landscape. And then we would look at slow logs and how it can be combined with the existing tools to create magic. We will wrap the session by sharing some hidden gems in the perf testing landscape that you can start using right away. So the client is a leading social media company and was using open search to store comments, posts, and video analytics. This content was then used to create timelines and recommendations for engaging content. There were availability issues during peak load with the current search platform, and they were looking to migrate to Elasticsearch. The challenge for us was to ensure that post migration, the target environment did not have the same issues. Like many other firms out there, there wasn't a performance test suit. They also lacked the budget to create one. They were looking for a solution that can be implemented by the SRE teams without consuming any engineering or QA bandwidth. There are standard benchmark tests run by Elastic every night. But unfortunately, this cannot be used in all use cases. Customer environments are unique. In the sense, if you look at the number of nodes, CPU, RAM, to index structures, mappings, and query patterns, most deployments are unique. Specifically, in this use case, we had queries running into two pages of painless script and it also involved heavy aggregations. Secondly, if we have a custom benchmark, it can also be used to determine what would be the optimal capacity by running it through different combinations of CPU architecture and memory footprints. Finally, environments also have a unique combination of fast and slow queries. In this particular case, 99% of the queries were running within 500 milliseconds. There were a handful of them that were taking all, as long as seven to nine seconds and hogging on CPU. Given these benefits, how do we create custom benchmarks? Our first ingredient are the queries that are running on the current production system. One place to tap for these queries is slow logs. Slow logs can be turned on by flipping a configuration and any query exceeding that specified time threshold would be logged. The slow logs can be generated in JSON format. It contains a few important parameters such as the actual query executed, time taken, the indexed against which it was run, and the hits that matched the query. Having the logs in JSON also makes it easier to parse and has higher data quality. Now that we have slow queries, how do we run them against Elasticsearch? Most of you might be aware of ES Rally. It has 14 plus preset performance benchmarks with data volumes ranging from 10 MB to 100 GB. 
you can also compare results across multiple runs. Most of you might be aware of ES Rally. It has 14 plus preset performance benchmarks with data volumes from 10 MB to 100 GB. You can also compare the results across multiple runs. Every time we run a perf test, it is a race. We just have to specify the track, which is the test suit that needs to be run. Once the race starts, it will download all the required data set and start creating data in Elasticsearch and then querying it. Once the run completes, we have this neat report on load throughput and the range of response times observed. Now we have the tools and the queries. Before connecting them together, we need to consider how to organize these queries. While collecting slow logs, focus on both the fast and slow queries. This is the only way to replicate the production rhythm. Running only the slow queries makes it an apples to orange comparison. Our SRE team wrote a Python script to parse the slow log JSON files and bucket these logs based on time taken. This gave another key input for the test, the frequency, the frequency in which queries hit the server. This would translate to the throughput we want to generate while running the test. For example, the distribution here shows that 50% of the queries were below 50 milliseconds. And if the current system is getting, let's say 500 requests per second, 50% or 250 of them should be these queries from the 50 milliseconds bucket. This is how our custom rally task looks like. We had a custom operation implemented in Python. This operation was responsible for picking queries from the respective buckets. The target throughput was adjusted to reflect the frequency of the queries that need to be sent for each bucket. These tests and the results helped instill confidence that the Elasticsearch cluster was able to handle the load and did not have similar availability problems. We would like to leave you with some tools that helped us in this exercise. Elasticsearch has a powerful profile API and Kibana DevTools has a tab where you can use to visualize the output of the profile results. Secondly, while the benchmark tests are running, stack monitoring provided us with detailed metrics on indexing and search times, thread usage, and queuing. It also has metrics for index, node, and cluster level activity too. Finally, do leverage the observability dashboard to view any infrastructure metrics. Let's say in case your Elasticsearch runs on Kubernetes or any other container platform. I hope this session was informative. I would like to thank you for attending this session and the Elastic product marketing team members, George Kovar and Ivan for the opportunity and support. Thank you.